2021 was a year of healthy recovery for gold demand. In total, it was up 10% on the previous year, which had been really hit by the challenges presented by the global pandemic. And much of the strength in 2021 came through in the fourth quarter, as lockdowns were eased across much of the world and the global economy continued to recover. And that really benefited jewellery demand in particular. In the fourth quarter, consumer demand for jewellery was at a more than eight year high. And much of that was thanks to Indian consumers finally being able to catch up on the jewellery buying that they'd missed out on for much of the previous two years. And there was continued improvement too in gold demand used in technology. Smartphones and electric vehicles, for example, were two areas that really benefited from the economic recovery last year. Central banks continued to add significant amounts of gold to their global holdings. Official reserves increased by 463 tonnes last year, and that total was boosted by some quite large scale purchases by some relative newcomers to the central bank buying space, Thailand and Brazil being among them. But one of the overriding themes from last year was a very mixed investment picture. On the one hand, we saw significant outflows from ETFs, and that coincided with bar and coin investment rising to an eight year high. And that reflected the tug of war between high and rising inflation on the one hand and real interest rates on the other, competing to be the main driver of investment demand throughout the year. For a deeper dive into the detail underlying these numbers, please download Gold Demand Trends from goldhub.com.